Hello, welcome to Island Living TV. And uh, today's segment, we're with Miss Hawaii, Lauren Shee. Hello, Lauren. Hi. Welcome to Island Living TV. Thank, Thank you. you, and welcome to my house. You know, it's crazy. We have our family party today. Oh, that's great. You have a great family here. Thank you. Th thank you for letting us and the viewers into your home today. Of course, anytime. Tell me a little bit about yourself, about your childhood, and how it shaped you into Miss Hawaii. I had an amazing childhood, and my family always took time to spend time together, whether it was doing puzzles together or building a rocket. And my family is actually, we're egg farmers in Wahiwa, um, 102 years this year. And so, you know, being able to work on the farm with my family, anytime baby chicks come in, the whole family has to work. And I think um, the whole sense of the importance of family and that work ethic that I got from growing up on our family farm, I think that really shaped me to be Miss Hawaii because I think that's what it's all about is those relationships and knowing just how to work hard. My favorite experience was the day after I won my crown. The morning after, it's seven in the morning, it's, tr it's a tradition now that you go with the former Miss Hawaii and you go to Kapiolani Hospital and you go and you visit the children. And all the lays that you got from the night before after you won, you're able to give it to the kids and just to see their face. Um, I mean, that really kicked off my year, knowing that I was able to give them hope. And um, I love it when the kids look up at you and be like, are you really a princess? And to me, I go, you know, I'm really making a difference in somebody else's life. It must have really made their day and your day also. It, it did. And, you know, I really think it um, impacted me even more. Just that memory is going to last with me for a lifetime. What kind of encouraging advice can you give to the girls out there who dream of becoming someday Miss Hawaii? I think the best advice is just to be who you are and to really work on your strengths. And don't worry about, you know, having the perfect hair or, you know, finding that perfect outfit. It's really about just being you. And what I loved was at Miss America, um, you know, I was the first person to ever jump rope in the 90 years of Miss America. There'd never been anybody else who jump roped. Really? I was the first contestant out of 53, so the first one to go. And, you know, I messed up twice in my routine. And I was still able to win talent at Miss America. And to me, I feel like I can tell girls, young girls now, that it doesn't matter what you do. If you're good at singing, if you're good at dancing, or if you're good at jump roping on your butt, it doesn't matter what you're good at. Just be you. What are your dreams and plans for the future? There's, there's so many, but just immediately after I give up my crown as Miss Hawaii, um, I was so lucky to have won a full ride scholarship to Hawaii Pacific University to go and get my master's in business administration as well as I want to continue working with Kapiolani Hospital Children's Miracle Network. It's been such um, a huge part of my year and it was such an accomplishment. The whole entire state of Hawaii really rallied around this year and we raised $41,000 for Children's Miracle Network. 100% of it went to Kapiolani Hospital and we actually won the title at Miss Hawaii for raising the most money for Children's Miracle Network. So to continue my work with them and to finish my MBA, those are my immediate dreams. And then, you know, run for political office. So vote for Lauren Sheep in 2014. Should I say maybe President Lauren Sheep? You know, I'm going to start with House of Reps, but okay. we'll, we'll see what comes down the line. How about, I understand that you're a filmmaker also. Do yes. you have, still have any dreams of maybe making a, another film? You know, going through film school, I realized that my favorite part about making films is having your voice being heard. Mm -hmm. And I was able to make a film called Farm Grown, which really talks about the plight of the farmers here in Hawaii and how difficult it is for them. And um, wasn't expecting anything out of it. It was a class project. And it was ended, they ended up giving it to the state legislature. And it helped pass the feed subsidy bill for all the farmers in Hawaii. And that's when I realized that through film, my voice can be heard. And so to use film as an instrument, definitely in my future. Mahalo, Lauren, for letting us in your home, letting us meet your wonderful family. Of and, course, anytime. And being a guest on Island Living TV. Oh, I had a great time. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Aloha. Thank you. Aloha.